Tis the season. With the magic of Pasco surrounding us, we will be sharing content all about the holidays that's unique to this one happy island right here on Tel Aruba. Like a good old classic Christmas movie, you will be seeing some of your familiar favorites, such as the Oli Bolan story, Ayakas, the Nutcracker, Ponche Crema, and more. Happy holidays to you and your family. It is extremely important to me that the stories we share are authentic and that we strive to tell both perspectives. I've been a local to this remarkable island three times and a tourist too many times to count. Our home, your holiday, celebrates Aruba. There's a reason why Arubans are so patriotic and there's a reason why visitors keep coming back. Let's dive into the elements that makes Aruba our home and the perfect holiday. Happy holidays to you and your family. Welcome to the show. I'm your host, Yen Tolu. We're gonna talk about the Nutcracker. Not this guy, but the ballet performance. The ballet performance happens every year in Aruba. It takes center stage with our own local talents. Take a look. Holiday celebrations come in many forms. It can even be found here on the toes of dancers. Lisa Lott is warming up and loosening up her shoes to rehearse for the leading role in the Nutcracker ballet performance. For decades, the Nutcracker act has been known around the world as perhaps the most popular ballet to be performed around Christmas time. This year, Lisa Lott plays the Sugar Plum Fairy, which is the lead. She's also the prince in the fight against the Mouse King. She's the second doll. She has a part in the snow scene, Walls of the Flower, and more. She's certainly familiar with the play. Here is why she thinks the story is so fitting with the joyous season. Well, I think it's because the Nutcracker and the um, holiday, it has so much in common. It's just like one big, beautiful fairy tale. So it really brings out the magic when you see it, maybe if, with your family, it's just, you start the Christmas season good, you feel the music, it's like, you bring joy to the month December. And it's just, we have some very good, amazing dancers at our company, at our studio. So it's really good that people also see how good Aruba can dance. Speaking of showcasing Aruba's talents on center stage, Lisa Lott is a competitive ballet dancer. She started on her sixth birthday with the Kozlov Dance Academy, which was founded by Leonid Kozlov. Mr. Kozlov is internationally recognized in the world of ballet. <laughs> Did you already know at a very young age? Mm -hmm, yes, I would say at my first ballet class, I already knew that I, was, I just wanted to be a ballerina. It was at the moment. It was just, <laughs> it's just the feeling I cannot even describe. It's just, I knew that this was going to be what I wanted to do for my rest of my life. I just knew I wanted to be a ballerina. And did Mr. Kozlov see that in you also? And then did he take you under his wing? Yes, it was just as I said, like the first class, he also told me, he told me specifically, like, I'm going to make a ballerina out of you. And that's also the last thing that he will do for me. It's like, just make sure I'm a ballerina. And since now he has done everything to help me reach the goal. During the time I spent with the performer, it is evident she is a ballerina on stage and off. Her goal is to be accepted into a professional ballet company in New York or somewhere in the United States. Currently, with assistance from the Prince Bernard Cultural Fund, the 14-year-old rehearses and takes private lessons five days a week to pursue her dream of becoming a professional ballet dancer and represent Aruba. In March, she performed and placed at a ballet competition in New York where she was offered three scholarships for this upcoming summer. The future seems bright for the young ballerina, but for now, she is cherishing the spotlight on the local island stage of Casti Cultura with her various nutcracker roles. Since 
that interview, Lotta has actually been accepted into the National Academy of Ballet in Amsterdam. She's moving this December. All the best to Lotta, and it's certainly wonderful to see local talents making headway. A luxury jewelry brand is celebrating a remarkable milestone with one of its most iconic collections. Serpenti, it's been 75 years of infinite tales. Back in the 60s was when Bulgari cemented the Serpenti as an icon. Some of you may recall Elizabeth Taylor wearing a Serpenti design on the set of Cleopatra in 1962. And her lover Richard Burton famously said, the only Italian Elizabeth knows is Bulgari. Fast forward to present day the celebration of 75 years is happening worldwide, including on Aruba by Gandelman, who exclusively carries Bulgari. Gary here has been working with the brand for 12 years. Naturally, he is quite enthusiastic about the milestone. Recently, as part of the 75-year celebration, Gandelman showcased exquisite and rare plus one-of-a-kind pieces that have walked the red carpet, appeared in movies, and more. Uh, today in our boutique we also happen to have uh, this uh, design which is called the uh, Serpenti Viper inspired by the scales of the snake and uh, this particular piece you will not see that often it's not one of a kind but they make, make very few of. The necklace alone has almost 15 carats the bracelet almost 9 carats and uh, because it's 18 carats white gold, you do, do see more of the fire of the diamonds. 75 years is a long time. To sustain its appeal, this iconic collection of Bulgaris has evolved over time. This is the, the latest evolution of the Serpenti collection. The exact name is the Serpenti Palini. And uh, it actually, if you look at the construction of the piece, it's quite amazing how they made it. Um, it's actually that you have a memory um, metal in between. And each, each beat is added individually. It's added so beautifully together that you don't even notice that it's multiple pieces put in to one. Well, actually it is an 18 karat rose gold. Black onyx is used for the eyes in the geometrical shape. And you have, of course, the beautiful diamonds. Yes. And even, even this part, as you can see, has a spring in it. So it represents the tail, of course. So it looks naturally. Prestigious publications have also celebrated 75 years of Serpenti, from Harper's Bazaar to The Times. Congratulations to Bulgari. Welcome to our home, your holiday. I'm your host, Yentolu. Today is another very special edition of the show since it is all holiday themed. We are filming in my kitchen. Welcome. One of the best things about Aruba is the fact that we've adopted so many different cultural traditions that we celebrate during this time of year. Today we are exploring one from Venezuela and it is ponche crema. If you'd like to make this, you will need the following ingredients. Some eggs, nutmeg, vanilla extract, a small tin of evaporated milk, condensed milk, rum, of course. And does your family have mugs or cups that are special that you like to pull out whenever this time of year rolls around? Well, in my household, it's the moose mugs. Let's go. The first step calls for a small holder and some measuring spoons because we are going to set this aside. To start off, we will need one teaspoon of nutmeg. And just so you know, I am kind of improvising here as well as adapting the recipe a little just because I've done a few trial and errors and there are specific things that I prefer. So one teaspoon of nutmeg and then two tablespoons of white rum, doesn't matter the brand, whichever you prefer. And then you set this aside. And next come the eggs. Have one whole egg, and then I've already separated an egg yolk. And then you need a clear bowl that is appropriate for a double boiler because this will go on top of a pot on the stove. So then you just mix the egg yolk with the egg into this bowl and you whisk. And we're just gonna add a little bit of condensed milk. Again, I like to improvise. And I don't like mine too sweet, so I'm only gonna have about that much in, kind of freestyling here. 
um, and then the evaporated milk, equal parts, and then it calls for equal parts of rum with however much condensed milk you actually put in there. So I'm gonna put about this much, which I would say is equal to the evaporated milk and the condensed milk. And then again, you whisk. And then you'll notice because of the condensed milk, everything feels a little bit thicker. If you wanna follow, that smells so delicious. Um, if you wanna follow a precise recipe, I've seen many, many online, so you can do that. I'm going to add a little bit more evaporated milk. Again, freestyling. And then I'm gonna add a little bit more of the condensed milk. All right, so we have our condensed milk, evaporated milk, and our egg yolk, and one whole egg kind of whisked all together. And we have that frothy top, which is perfect. And now it does call for putting together the two teaspoon, uh, two tablespoon of rum and nutmeg that we did in the beginning. Put it in there. And then you whisk again. And in case you're wondering why the lighting in here changed, it started to rain outside, so we weren't getting that natural light that we were getting, so I had to turn on my kitchen light. Once you whisked um, the rum and nutmeg infusion into the bowl, a generous teaspoon of vanilla extract. And then again, our best friend for this recipe, our whisk. Okay, and then at this time, have a pot with a little bit, I would say one inch of water, just slowly boiling on the stove top. And then you put this on top of the pot as a double boiler. Let's go do that now. Then we take, or we walk, our mixture and we create a double boiler. See, I've already boiled some water. It's about one chin, inch of water, not a lot. And then you place this glass bowl just kind of on top, creating a double boiler. And we do this for about 15 minutes. I would recommend doing this on low heat and what you're supposed to do when the concoction is on the stovetop, you're supposed to whisk it slowly until it thickens for about 15 minutes. Let's do some TV magic, shall we? Let me clean up while our drink is on the stovetop. I've taken our concoction off the heat now, and you want to continuously stir it as it thickens so the egg that you put in here doesn't curdle. It smells so wonderfully delicious. Once you see the concoction thicken on the stove top, you set it aside, let it cool, refrigerate, then you have your finished ponche crema that we made together. Cheers. The creaminess together with the condensed milk and the rum, it just all fits in so well together. It is delicious and it gives you such a warm, cozy feeling also. These are our moose mugs, like I mentioned before. My husband pulls them out every year. It's very special to us. We drink wine in it, water, and it's only during this time of year. Here's why. I just can't believe you're actually standing here in my living room, Eddie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Never thought the day would come. Yeah, I'm excited about it too. Christmas Vacation is by far one of our favorite holiday movies. We have to watch it every single December. Cheers. This season, with the magic of Pasco surrounding us, we will be sharing content all about the holidays that's unique to this one happy island right here on Tel Aruba. Like a good old classic Christmas movie, you will be seeing some of your familiar favorites, such as the Oli Bolin story, Ayakas, the Nutcracker, Ponche Crema, and more. Happy holidays to you and your family.